hi, this is Monique, and today we're going to make pigs fly. We're going to turn this picture of a piggy bank into this, a flying pig. <laughs> so basically, um, I'm using three pictures. And so it's just like a picture of the blank desktop, a picture of me holding the pig, and then just an extra picture of me holding the pig because I didn't like that angle. And I'm going to use a program called GIMP. It's basically like a free version of Photoshop, just as good, but just free. <laughs> so I'm going to import the pictures and I'm going to open them as layers. So I'm just going to pick two pictures because the other one was just an extra one. And I'm going to open them. And you can see that it's putting the pictures in the layer pane right here. And as you can see, the empty layer is the one on top, so it's covering the second layer. So I don't want that. I want the one with the pig in it. So I'm going to just uh, drag the one with the pig in it up to the top, like to the number one position there. And as you can see, it's going to kind of paint the pig picture over top of the empty one. So right click and I want to add a layer mask. Add. Now I just want to go to a brush. And uh, now I just want to kind of paint over my hand so that you make your hand disappear. Because we're kind of like unveiling or showing the layer underneath of it. The empty layer. So as you can see, my hand is starting to disappear slowly. So I'm just going to keep erasing and in a little bit, it, I'm going to speed it up so you can see how it actually works a little bit faster. Okay. Let's just speed it up here. Make it a little bigger too. So I'm just going in and I'm kind of erasing with a smaller brush so that you can't really see too much. I'm not going to make it perfect or anything. This is just to show you how to make the pig kind of look like it's floating. But I just want to get in closer with a smaller brush. And that's what I'm just trying to do here. And just get closer to the form of the pig so you can't really see my hand anymore. I just want a tiny brush. I want to make the picture a little bit smaller, excuse me, a little bit bigger. And as you can see, I'm able to get a little bit closer as well and just start to make the hand fade out a lot faster. So it's not going to be perfect or anything, but this is what you do. Obviously, you can make it harder of a like the brush a little bit harder, but I don't want to be doing that. I just want it to be pretty simple. So the last part is just like taking my thumb out of the picture, making it disappear slowly, just like that. Because you don't want to actually like make the feet of the pig disappear. You just want it to be, you know, looking like it's floating in the air. And we're almost done. Okay, let's make it a little smaller. So that at first glance, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Kind of looks a little creepy, actually. <laughs> a little flying piggy bank. You can see a couple.
couple little lines. I want to get it back to its original size just so we can see what it looked like at first. Ta-da! Let's go back to the original. Really, really small. There we go. So that is how you make any kind of object levitate. And that's how you make pigs fly. <laughs> pigs fly, you know, like the joke, pigs fly. Anyhow, that's how I made my little piggy bank fly. I hope this has helped you. And yeah, just the program that I use is GIMP. It's not Photoshop. It's like a free version of Photoshop, open source. Just go to like the website for GIMP or Google GIMP and you can download it. And it's a really powerful piece of software. Okay, bye.